Okay, well, I am quite concerned about your breast. I do think you have an infection in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, what we found on exam is that you do ha still have some scabbing and sores on that nipple. On the nipple, yeah. yeah. And I think what, ha has, what, what has happened is that breast has gotten infected. Sometimes the infection can enter through that um, broken skin on the nipple. <sighs> okay. Yeah. And when you have the systemic symptoms like you have, which is fever, bodies, aches, chills, that flu-like feeling, that often suggests mm -hmm. an, an infection. Okay. Does that and mean I can't feed that anymore? With, nope, you go ahead and feed, okay. but we treat you with antibiotics. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So you take a 10-day course of oral antibiotics. Okay. And monitor closely. We'd expect symptoms to start improving within 24 to 48 hours. If you're worsening, then that would be a reason to go to the ER or okay. call your OBGYN and be seen. Okay. Um, but I anticipate with antibiotics it'll start improving. And do I just feed like I normally You want to feed, and actually it's even more important to feed very frequently. Okay. You want to try to get that breast right. emptied frequently and regularly. Keep that infection being flushed out. Yeah, I'm just already imagining how painful it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. So you either want to feed or pump okay. um, to try to get the breast emptied. Um, often with a mastitis, just from all the swelling and inflammation in there, you can also get some blocked ducts that mm. can be more difficult for the ducts to drain. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why continuing to feed and pump and try to encourage... And the, the massage techniques. Mm -hmm. okay. Gentle massage. Yeah. Um, so that does look like what's going on is a mastitis, probably with some additional blocked ducts, antibiotics and frequent feeding and pumping is mm -hmm. the way to go for that. Um, you know, there's some other things that can cause breast pain that I thought about in you, but I don't think is the case. Mm -hmm. um, some women uh, are concerned about yeast infections. Mm -hmm. uh, that wouldn't typically cause the hard red lump that you have there or the fevers. Okay. Okay, that's generally going to be more of a, like a rash on your nipples, okay. itchy, burning kind of pain. Um, the other thing, some women just get um, just kind of ligament or tendon pain or musculoskeletal pain just from all the... The, the pressure and mm -hmm. the positioning with feeding. Again, you wouldn't get fevers and all these other kinds of symptoms with that. So, um, you know, your all of your presentation is really consistent okay. with mastitis. And so how do you know, like, what antibiotic to use or what is causing the infection? Yeah. So the most common cause of mastitis is actually a bacteria called Staph aureus. Okay. So we use an antibiotic that targets okay. that. Um, what um, I am going to do before you leave is we'll collect a milk culture. Okay. And we can t send that milk off to the laboratory. Mm -hmm. And what they'll do is they'll put that on an auger plate, grow back, see if bacteria grow, and then mm. they can actually test different antibiotics on it to make sure that we've got the right one. And you'll let me know which one it is? Yes. Cool. That but that good. does take usually about 72 hours to get the results. Got it. All right. Oh, that sounds great. So I'm going to keep feeding on the side keep frequently, mm -hmm. empty the breast. I'm going to go pick up the antibiotics yep. um, and follow up with you at some point, or that's not necessary? Uh, well, what is going to be most important is if you're worsening in the next okay. few days, you want to follow up with either me so or So what would that mean, yet. worsening? So higher fevers, more redness of the breast, the symptoms not, in, basically anything that's not improving. Okay. And what do I do about any kind of, what if my nipple starts to hurt again or um, chafe or bleed? So... Um, if you're hurting so much that you're not able to feed, then pumping sometimes doesn't okay. hurt the nipple as much, so you always have that as an option. Um, you can also use some topical ointments that might soothe the nipple. I don't know mm. if you've been using anything at home. I haven't. I've just been expressing breast milk and letting it dry. Okay, so some women will use something called lanolin, mm -hmm. which is over the I've counter. I've heard of that, you can get, yeah. yeah. And that can soothe the nipple. Um, some women just like to put a little breast milk on there and let it air dry. Mm -hmm and air can help. Mm -hmm. um, occasionally we'll use a medicated cream. It's got an antibiotic, antifungal, steroid cream mm -hmm. in it. People will call that all-purpose nipple ointment. Okay. So that is an option. I think since you've been getting healing, mm -hmm. I think we'll... Just leave it as what I've been doing. Yeah. All right. No, that sounds fine. And we fine. probably should be for a follow-up because whatever's been going on with your latch to cause this soreness, I mean, we really want to make sure that gets that resolved. Gets checked out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. That yeah. would be great. And I want to make sure the mastitis fully resolves. Yeah, as well. that sounds good. And some women can experience some decrease in their mouth production as a result of the mastitis, just from all the inflammation in their breast. So, that would really be unfortunate. Yes, so we want to make sure that, that, yeah. that you get through this and that we keep breastfeeding going. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Thank so you so you much. So you and I should maybe meet up in a few days. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll schedule an appointment on okay. my way out. Sounds good. Thank you. Mm -hmm.